Hello, it's Dana Marie here with a journal with me. I actually recorded my voice for part of this and then decided to do the voiceover. So here you'll see I'm holding up my blue distress stain. I played with it there, trying only to use it where there were stickers. That's what I'm showing you there. So if it bled through, you wouldn't see it because there's stickers on the other side because it definitely bleeds through. So I have to be very careful where I use distress stain in this book. This book is an artist loft journal from Michaels and the distress stain does bleed through. So now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fix this because I really don't like it. Um, I'm pulling out my distress oxide. I love these. I don't use them very often, but I saw that stencil on my desk and it had been snowing because, well, it snowed forever here in Chicagoland. So it snowed again on this day. I think this might have been the day that the 15th was the day we got like 18 inches of snow in one day. Because I live in what's called the snow belt, very close to the lake, to Lake Michigan. So I decided to use the Distress Oxide. I think I'm using faded jeans here, but I really like that blue. And I'm trying to not shake you too much. So I'm kind of just twisting the applicator instead of rubbing, because if I rub too much back and forth, that will shake you and make you dizzy. I don't want to do that. So I'm just applying some snowflakes throughout both pages because it's snowed on the day, on both of these days and more days after that. Today is actually hmm, February 23rd, so I think I filmed the 15th and the 16th, either on the 15th or the 16th. I can't recall. But today is the 23rd, and it's a beautiful day in Chicagoland. We have bright sun. All of our icicles are melting, and some of the snow is melting. I think it's like, I don't know, 34 degrees where it's been bitter cold and a lot of snow here lately. So I'm thrilled with the weather today. I'm concerned about the three feet of snow in my yard melting and dripping into my basement because the water table here is very high. The ground is saturated and the water can only soak up so much into the ground before it, the ground is saturated. Yada, yada, yada. I like this meme. I saw this on Facebook, so I just paste, copied and pasted it into a pages document. And it says, it's so cold, I'm farting snowflakes or something like that. And it's a little cow farting snowflakes. It's cute. That 15 I printed from Google the other day. I think it's in one of the videos on a different day that I cut up all these numbers I just like to make my own numbers. Sometimes I write them with marker, sometimes I print them out, sometimes I use printables from Loveland's Life or Little Raven Ink, and sometimes I just make them myself. And here I did that. And then I ended up coloring on it later in the video and then I regret it because I like the way it looks right there. But I'm sure you know how that is. You get an idea and you think, oh, I should try this. And then you try that and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But you know what you do when that happens? You just turn the page or cover it up. Don't sweat the small stuff. That Monday is from Little Raven Ink. And I am looking for my notes because I think at this point I'm realizing. Oh, no, I think. Now. Nope. At some point in the video, I think I do look for my notes, but here I was turning on a video of Little Raven Ink journaling and listening to her talk while I do my own video, which is why I thought I was going to do a voiceover. Then I went ahead and talked through the whole thing, thinking maybe I wouldn't. But then I realized when I looked back that I was humming and singing a little bit, and nobody needs to hear that, so voiceover it is, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. That is a picture of our weather forecast saying that we're getting 7 to 11 inches. I posted a little video clip the day before, so it must have been like, yeah, it was Valentine's Day, the 14th. We're sitting in our living room watching it start to snow, and I took a quick video that I posted on my Insta page, which is at Dana Doodles 2, and it was just of our fire in the fireplace, my dog playing, and us sitting and looking out our big bay window at the snow coming 
and they had gone back and forth. We were going to get four to seven, nope, seven to 11, nope, four to seven, back and forth. Well, we ended up getting 18. So that was fun. And I'm just putting that meme on there. So I hope that by now, when, let's see, I filmed this probably the 16th. I'm a little slow. I lost all of yesterday to a migraine that was completely debilitating, so I didn't get anything done. I did. I survived. That was my accomplishment yesterday. Anywho, so I filmed this probably on the 16th, and I am recording the voiceover on the 23rd. What day will I post it? Hmm. That remains to be seen. That meme that I'm putting up there, also from Facebook, is... What is that guy's name? I'm drawing a blank. The dude that always paints. Bob Ross. And... It's just a comment about snow. I don't have my journal with me, as usual, to read it. But I think it says something about, we call this titanium white, or basically it's a commentary about Chicagoland being white, because all we get is snow. It was funny, but now I don't know what it says. There I am realizing that my uhu or yuhu glue stick is out of glue already after I had only glued about maybe 10 items with it. Kind of bummed out about that, but they are small glue sticks, but I have Elmer's glue sticks like that that last me months. And that's what I'm grabbing here. I've given up on Yoohoo. I like Yoohoo. Maybe it's Yoohoo, but I like to say Yoohoo. So that's what we're going with. I've given up on Yoohoo. And gone back to good old Elmer. His glue is, well, sticky. <laughs> and this is something. Oh, that's a picture of my house. So we have a two-story house. And along the upper roof line, we have tons and tons of icicles. And this says winter is coming, three years worth all at once, or something like that. And the icicles are huge, and I've heard that that is not good. That I mean, I've never had a house that got those. That was the number I pin printed for the day originally, but I decided it threw the whole color scheme off. So I decided not to use it. Anyway, I took a picture of the house because it shows the huge icicles. And they look so cool and so pretty. But apparently, it is not a good thing. And I thought at first that it was because we have gutter guards on our house. Which is supposed to be a good thing. Everybody thinks gutter guards are the thing. Then you don't have to clean your gutters, especially in a two-story as tall as our house is. So we have gutter guards. And that I thought that was good. But maybe that's what's causing the... It's called an ice dam. I'm not sure. All I know is it's not good and now they're melting. I'm watching them today. Just melt, melt, melt. And here I'm going to write out my number. Because as you saw, I had an orange and pink one, which is really cute. But didn't really go with my snow theme here. Wouldn't it be interesting if snow came down that white? which we frequently, as I'm doing here, depict as blue. But if it came down orange and pink and purple and turquoise, like in rainbow colors, that would be cool. I love, love, love vibrant color. This is a very pastel page for me, and I don't mind it, because I feel like that's what snow is, even though it's white. I like blue for that, but I really love bright, vivid colors. And I think I end up outlining it with white. And as usual, I will use my white correction pen for white. That's my go-to for anything white with a good high opacity because I really want my white to be white, white. Night whitish.
and I'm just outlining the things on the page. I honestly cannot tell you right now if I actually did the journaling on these pages yet. I'm not sure. I just know that for today's, no, no, today's the 23rd. For Monday, the 22nd, my whole entire page is, all I can say is migraine. I should just make it, I should paint it with black ink and then put migraine in red and just call that a day because there's nothing to say about yesterday. And then after spending all day with my puppy, because my husband was busy working and my son was busy e-learning, I have to take care of the puppy. Take her in, take her out, take her in, take her out, take her in, take her out. Good grief, this dog. She's cute, but she's a lot of work. That was hard because I had a terrible brain-numbing, literally, a brain-numbing headache. I had visual impairment, numbness to my lips and my face and my fingers. I'm in that kind of migraine. And my dog wants out every five minutes. And then she just walks out the door and sits down and looks at me. It was it was terrible. But I survived until my husband got off work. And then I went upstairs and went to bed. And it, it was one of those things where it hurts to close your eyes. It hurts to open your eyes. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't watch anything. I couldn't read. I couldn't journal. Couldn't do anything but lay there and look at the ceiling. And I didn't sleep much. But then... I woke up at midnight because my dog was crying in her crate. We have a security camera down here so we can see her. Here I'm just filling in snowflakes with the with the stencil that I got off Amazon and the Distress, Distress Oxide ink. So we have a security camera down here that points at her crate so we can see her. She's almost four months old, and she woke up at midnight, which is unusual for her. My husband, knowing I have a migraine, came down and let her out, let her back in. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, she woke up again. She's got, I don't know what she did. She either got into something in the yard, which it would not be surprising. She eats anything or something. Oh, there's clouds on there, so I decided to stencil some clouds on. There it is. I just left the rain off. I love that stencil. Anyway, my dog was sick at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I could not sleep again. So that was my entire day and night until today. Now today I have like a migraine hangover. My brain is befuddled. Now I'm just edging the page with the ink. And then it occurs to me, and I don't want my pink pages before that to have blue on them. I should maybe stick something in there to protect it. And I did that. I don't know what I'm doing. Pointing at the camera, maybe. Who knows? Or maybe I was shaking you. I had big plans for yesterday, too. I never, 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 never plan my day. I am not a planner, I'm not a goal setter. I know it's terrible. I know. I know. I know. But I don't. So Sunday night, we're sitting playing games at the table, and I just kind of wrote out my plans for the week. For the whole week, Monday through Friday. What I was going to clean, what I was going to work on for work, what I was going to work on for my journaling, what I was going to work on for my art studio. I had all these plans, all written out, on paper. And I lost yesterday, and I've pretty much lost today, too, because I've spent today monitoring my dog, feeding her, making her a special meal of chicken and rice because she's been vomiting, and I don't know what it is that is wrong with her. I called the emergency vet at 3 a.m. I called my vet at 8 a.m., and now I'm, we gave her a little medicine, and we're hoping that she's going to be better. Poor baby's probably starving. She's had very little food, but I've spent the day monitoring her because I give her little bits of food and then let her outside and make sure, I have to make sure she doesn't get sick again. If she throws up again, I have to take her into the vet. And I have a migraine hangover, so my brain is befuddled. I can't think clearly today, so just surviving work until work is over. And my watch is telling me to stand up. 
My watch is so funny. I have an Apple watch, and it tells me to stand up once an hour, which is fabulous, except that frequently I am actually standing up when it tells me to stand up. And sometimes I've been standing up for a while when it tells me to stand up. And it's like a big joke in my house that I'm so short that my watch doesn't even know I'm standing up. Ha 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 ha. Here I'm going back and working on this day, I guess. I don't think so. I think I'm trying to make those things. Yeah, I'm, I had a couple of printables left from one of the Valentine sheets from Little Raven Ink, and I'm trying to make them work. I really want to use them, but, you know, at some point you just have to say enough is enough. I'm not going to shove it in there. I guess I'm trying to think about what I did on that day. <laughs> that tippin is really chunking out my journal. That fire hydrant is just to indicate that we had a fire. I had it. It was from a magazine. I'm just being funny. I have no idea what I'm pointing at. I think that's the end of this video. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, and I appreciate your time. Give us a thumbs up, and...